Hello photographers and designers, welcome. Marketing your creative business can be one of the most overwhelming aspects of being a photographer, designer, or other freelance creative. And one of the reasons why it can be so overwhelming is that we're constantly being told how much easier marketing our business is because, well, social media and the internet. But the truth is that the social media and the internet as marketing vehicles creates all kinds of different variables and different things to focus on and concentrate that it can be almost impossible to really figure out and hone in on what is it that is working and what is not working about your marketing. This episode of Coaching for Creatives is going to walk through my guidebook, my marketing guide for freelancers, and talk to you about the six things to fix in your marketing and how to fix them. Mostly, we're gonna talk about what to fix and how to fix it. What we're gonna start off with is is figuring out how to identify what is working and what's not working. Often that can be the biggest challenge to get through in the first place is where do I even start with looking at my marketing? How do I know what's working? How do I know what's not working? What am I even supposed to measure? All of you that are social media um, content managers or marketing managers or online digital marketers, you may have this stuff dialed in for your clients, but still may be suffering from how do I do it for myself? I'm gonna walk you through, first of all, how do you identify what's not working in your marketing? And I propose to you that there's two different approaches to identify what's not working. One is to look at where are you really feeling the challenge? Where are you feeling stuck? Where do you think, oh, this just isn't working? Or what is it that you want to have more of? I've created a handy dandy little guide for you. There's a link in the description there for you to download it directly. And I'm going to just walk you through some of the things that you could be doing right now to help you identify where you might be stuck in your marketing. The first one we're going to look at is where your biggest challenge is. This sometimes can be hard because all of marketing feels challenging and it's just all not working and I just want to, I just don't, I don't want to do any of it. Or maybe that's just me. That's how I was feeling a little while ago when I was doing so many different marketing campaigns and launch campaigns and I'm on all these different social media channels and I feel like I'm doing all the right things, but it just didn't feel like it was working very well for me. I went through this process of going, okay, where where is the challenge exactly? Most of you are going to go directly with, hey, my challenge is I need more clients. That's how I know my marketing isn't working. I need more clients. Let's look. If you're looking at needing clients, is that you're not closing sales. So are you getting inquiries and then maybe getting ghosted or people filling in your contact form and then just disappearing? If you're getting inquiries and you actually have those sales conversations, and you follow up and you're still not closing those sales, then it's really the closing sales part that might be the piece to focus on. How could you get better at closing sales? If you are closing sales and you're working with great clients, but you still don't have enough money, there are still solutions for how you can increase the revenue. But maybe that's not your problem. Maybe you like, you don't even get the inquiries. Maybe you don't even have the opportunity to be sending out the number of quotes or proposals that you'd like to, or maybe you're sending out, but you're just not getting the inquiries that you would love to be getting from the right clients. If you're not getting the inquiries, maybe people are seeing your website or seeing your offer or your sales pages, but they're not just clicking into the contact us or book me. Maybe there's an opportunity there to focus your time and energy on what could you fix with that aspect of it. Maybe you're just not getting enough people seeing your offer. You're not getting enough eyeballs on your call to action. Maybe you're not getting enough traffic on your website, or maybe you're not getting enough people actually seeing your posts on Instagram. You can see how each of these challenges would have different approaches to how that you might fix them. Maybe you're just not getting 
enough new followers. Maybe you've just had the same old loyal people again and again, and these are the same people in your email list and the same people in your Instagram or the same people that are following your blog or your digital portfolio. That's fantastic that you have loyal people and congratulations on creating compelling content for that. And you still need new eyeballs on your stuff to generate new clients. Maybe people, you're just not getting those prospects. This biggest challenge is just for you to look at where is the breakdown in the journey that people can take to reach me. You may not be familiar with the buyer's journey. If you're not familiar with the buyer's journey, that's something that I can absolutely help and coach you with. But the buyer's journey is all about people getting to know that you exist, liking you enough to follow or opt into your social media or to follow you on social media or opt into your email list, paying attention to the content that you create to such that they actually take action and click on your links and go visit your offers. They land on your offer page and they like what they see and they like the copy and the content and they feel drawn to and compelled to click the link to book the sales call. They come to the sales call to have the conversation. And then finally they need to see that proposal and say yes to working with you. This little great here is just a way for you to think about where I might want to focus my time and energy when it comes to client attraction. The next page of this awesome little guide here is about, okay, now how do you fix it? If you want more revenue without more work, you've identified that you just need to increase the revenue. You're closing the sales already. You're working with great clients. You don't really have the capacity for maybe taking on a whole bunch of new work or new projects, but you still want more revenue. You just don't really necessarily want to do more work. So if you look at, I want more revenue without more work, you have three options. You could raise your prices, reduce what you actually deliver or your time investment without changing your price, or you could be become more efficient at doing what you're doing. If you become more efficient at creating logo templates, if you become more efficient at doing your headshots, you can still charge the same amount, but you are not investing as much of yourself into it. So you expand your capacity to be able to take on new clients, or you at least are making more return on your investment of time and energy than you would if you were less efficient. If you're getting, if your people are getting your quotes and then they're ghosting you, if they're, you're sending out your proposals and then you never hear from them again, here are some things that you can do to get gigs instead of ghosted, how you can adjust your sales process, how you can change your proposal style, how you can pre-book follow-up calls or book sales presentations instead of just emailing your proposal. There's a lot of different ideas here about how you can start working on different areas of your marketing. And of course, you know, this number five here, if you want more relationships to nurture, it's probably because people are looking at your social media posts, but they're not necessarily growing. You're not getting an, a more of a follower account. If you want more relationships, you want to be clear about your invitations to follow you. You want to ask people to opt in. You want to invite people to engage meaningfully. You want to create content that's valuable so that when they do show up, they're getting something in return. This idea of looking at where do you want to focus your time and energy when you fix your marketing is super powerful because uh, often what happens is that people will start to think about their marketing as one thing. I need to do more marketing. I need to do better marketing. I need to increase my marketing. But marketing is made up of so many different aspects and even each area of marketing has an ability to get fine tuned and tweaked and adjusted and improved. And I offer that to you not to overwhelm you, but to let you know that if you can focus on one area and get that one area really dialed in, then you can feel confident that it's working and effective and you can move your time and energy and attention and focus to the next area in your buyer's journey. 
I always recommend starting the closest you possible can to when people are ready to become clients. In these examples, make sure that you are really confident in your sales conversations. Make sure that you have a smooth onboarding system or process. Have a really clear guidelines for how you're going to move people through your sales conversations or your discovery conversations. Get that dialed in. Understand that piece so that no no matter where your clients come from, whether they're from referrals, whether they're from your social media, whether they're from other marketing aspects or networking, as soon as you get people into a sales conversation where you have an opportunity to provide a quote or an estimate or a proposal, you can feel way more confident that you're going to be successful. Once you get that piece dialed in, then you want to spend more time thinking about how do I attract more people to get them to that conversation. If you are struggling in your photography or your design business with marketing, with any phases or stages of this marketing, and you think, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to sort it out? Download the guide and reach out and book a quick 15 minute conversation with me. I am sure that I can help you get really clear and confident about where to focus your marketing efforts next. As always, I read the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this, whether it's helpful, whether you have additional questions, please post them in the comments. I always come back to check them out and answer them. I hope to see you here next time on Coaching for Creatives. My name is Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and I love the opportunity to serve you each week. Have a great day.